Island Life, a very controversial yet standing and sustainable game, and one of the top roleplay games on Roblox over the entire course of its run. Island Life had a great player base, and it was known for its appeal for people who like to roleplay as families or whatever your imagination pleases and desires. Just as there were people who liked it, the opposing side also liked to troll and disliked the game due to multiple factors. It was a very mixed game. You either loved it or hated it. Developed by Decabox, also known as Banner, it had over 100 million visits and was popular with the masses. It was featured in Laserbeam's video and countless others, which made it widely known on YouTube. Until that fateful day on the 17th of March at 11.13am, when Decabox's account was deleted, with the moderator a note attached saying, Your account has been deleted for repeatedly violating TOS by selling Roblox Robux for real-world compensation. Now, Decablox claims that this notice is fake. He also made a video on his YouTube channel explaining the side of the story. Four hours ago, Island Life was deleted off Roblox and people are absolutely shocked. It's truly a confusing story from both sides. In his video, we will be reviewing the entire story and coming to a reasonable conclusion. Can Island Life hopefully jump back on the Roblox platform? Or is he done for good in developing? Let's find out. My name's Snooky Alex, and this is our Roblox news series. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. But before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe so that way you never miss out on the latest Roblox drama, news, tips, and tricks, and more. Continuing forward, also before we start this video, if Island Life or Life in Paradise does come back by Decabox, I will be sure to link it in the description. Now, let's get started with our criteria for this video. Normally, we organize a video using criteria to help it feel more organized and to skip to a certain time point. I may leave timestamps in the description if I have time, so make sure to check the comments or the description for those. With that being said, our criteria will be three things. Firstly, what is the situation, Decaboxes, tweets, etc. Why Roblox may have terminated him. And lastly, the community opinion or my opinion as well on this situation. Let's get started with our first point. On March 17th, 2020, at 12.25 p.m., Banner, aka Decabox, on Twitter tweeted, What the hell? I swear to God, I didn't do anything. I hope this is a mistake, dude. Underneath the thread contains a similar tweet, which says, How dumb could I be to work so hard all this time only to get banned for selling Robux, LOL. So in actually analyzing the content in the image, it is the exact same image we showed before, which has account deleted. Our content monitors have determined that your behavior at Roblox has been in violation on your terms of service. Reviewed 3-17-2020 at 11-13-58 AM. Moderator note says, your account has been terminated for repeatedly violating the terms of service by selling Robux for real world compensation. Your account has been terminated. If you wish to appeal, please contact us at the support forum. Log out. Trying to stay calm because it seems like this will be handled soon. My mind is clear. I know I've done nothing wrong, so now we just wait. Decabox retweets a thread from Classic Rampage that says, Question mark, question mark. This is my first ever Roblox warning, and it's for something I haven't even done. Moderator note, buying, selling, and trading Roblox or virtual Roblox items outside of the Roblox website and Roblox app are against our rules. This includes purchasing or participating in offers for Robux on third-party apps or websites. Continuing to do so will lead to further moderation on your account, up to and including account deletion. Banner responds in a retweet with, Pretty sure that's directly related to the reason why I'm banned. This is just so everyone sees how huge this misunderstanding is. A lot of innocent people, including me, are affected. So far, it looks like Decabox is trying to prove his point that this is false because they terminated him for an automated reason and not a manual reason. He continues his point further in the next thread, but it seems he's repeating points so I'll skip some things. 
So it seems to me that he was lending around limiteds with his friends, and based off his evidence, he is saying that he got banned because Roblox believes he was trading them often, the same limiteds over and over and over again, when reality it was to his friends. This maybe triggered something in Roblox's algorithm that caused us to go off. This has happened to me with uploading multiple images at once, where it believes it's spam or a robot, etc. It might be the same with Roblox trading or lending items, as Banner did, as he's pretty rich on Roblox. Banner then retweets a tweet from Danny, also known as Disappearances, that says, My experience with this has been anything but good. I myself did not experience a termination or ban or learning, but it affected the people around me for no reason. No one broke terms of service. There's no rules against lending limiteds and paying out Robuxes to your friends. There's also a thread under that, which I will link in the description if you wish to read it. I just don't feel it is necessary for this video. Now, Box's pinned tweet is a video of him saying why he believes his ban was false. He also asks people to retweet this tweet. Let's take a look at this video. What happened is two days ago, uh, it was banned. And he was banned because apparently he was selling limited items for real life compensation. And that's not true because what happened is he was lending his limiteds to his close friends. Uh, he was doing it often and that might have made Roblox think he was actually selling them. But who would he be selling the limiteds if he ends up getting them back? I don't think so. Okay. And at the moment you're seeing images of the trades and you can realize that he always gets the items back. Okay, like if you buy an item, you don't give it back to the, uh, the person who sold you the item, do you? So it doesn't make any sense to accuse him of selling limiteds when such thing didn't happen. The rest of the tweets seem that Banner is really losing hope at this time. Great, now Island Life is constant deleted. I'm really hoping we can hear good news soon to fix all this mess, because my god. Let's read three tweets in a row from Playcrate and Banner. The first one says, We are aware of the recent issues regarding our account, group, and now game, and we are continuously working to get the issue solved as soon as possible. Please stick with us and be patient while we try and work things out with at Roblox, at Roblox DevRel. We'll keep you posted. Was having very big hopes of having the issue solved sometimes this week, until this happened. Hopefully it's unrelated and it doesn't change anything. At this point, I don't even care about the damages caused. I just want my projects back. Okay, so if the game got CD'd four hours ago, which is like 1am in San Mateo, that means it was either automatic or by their outsourced moderation, right? I'm trying so hard to find ways of keeping my hopes up, it's crazy. It seems after all this that Banner is losing hope, and that's understandable. He's trying to find every way to do this. But remember, Banner's account was deleted before for the exact same issue, so I predict that he unfortunately won't get it back. Let's move on to our next point, which is Roblox's side. What set off Roblox's moderation was from the auto-moderator and constant trades. Based off trade logs that he has proof of, Roblox does have a system put in place to time trades at odd times, which he probably set off on multiple occasions due to lending items. It's what happened with his last account and although it isn't right, I feel he should have learned to time your trades in a manner that doesn't set off the algorithm or lend items that can be as a dangerous practice. Which normally, former Vermilion sellers, this is what they would do to avoid triggering the algorithm, which ended up striking Decca as an innocent. After doing some research in this video on popular sites that sell for USD and real life currencies such as Vermilion, etc., I looked for those sites on a username like his and none popped up. Other sites most third party gamblers do not target, as they do not get enough traffic. It's also gambling sites such as the ones as Roblox Party that they target. Due to the gambling being 50 50, they can take a loss, but also a win. Also, no user similar to his accounts there. Deca is one of them, or Delta Room, etc but none of these relate to any of his former account names as well or the Playcrate IP and property, which is a studio that he works for. Do I believe that Roblox really instated his account? Absolutely not. 
Roblox will reinstate the account due to what happened last time. It will not reinstate it due to what happened last time and repeat. It keeps records and if this happens a third time, he may be IB plan from the platform, which is unfortunate. Roblox takes stories like these very seriously and unfortunately has no guilt for people like Decca because people like third party traders have used advantage of this skill back in the site's olden days to take advantage of their customer support. Therefore, everything now is auto moderated and Roblox believes that they are doing safety on their part to show that no one will pass the system, even those that do not mean to, like Decca. Let's move on to our next point. Let's read some of the community opinion for the Roblox Twitter community and some of his tweets. Chappie says, at this point, someone needs to drug test those Roblox moderators immediately. Black Rose says, I do not trust you. So your whole video is speculations that's valid. However, ever since your burst ban, you seem to be acting unaware. Your first was deleted for misleading content. You acted confused and said Roblox gave no reason. You aren't innocent and know exactly why. Dramira Fluff says, they won't help nor unban any account. Calling it now. It seems that many are also confused as what's going to happen to their game passes. Godly Memer 661 says, Why? Wait, does that mean when the game comes back, I will have to buy admin and VIP back and DJ Pass and premium editor? Playcrate, the studio, responds, You'll keep your game passes. This one is a double reply from Kiwiism and myself. Kiwiism replies, What the hell? Alright, if Roblox doesn't fix this, I'm quitting Roblox. I respond, Quit then. They do not care about a singular developer in the midst of their platform. Decabox has a right to be angry, but I don't have much hope, unfortunately. In coming to a community conclusion, I can conclude that everyone is very neutral on this one. Some believe that he is innocent, however, some also believe he is not innocent due to his past fan. Whatever you believe is absolutely okay and no one should shame you for it. So in turn, I will stay neutral on this one. Please be respectful to others in the comments and let's keep a nice comment environment. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Before we end off this video, here is this week's featured fan art. I hope you enjoy it. That's all for this video. Peace out and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, yeah.